The search has included deputies, border patrol agents, state troopers, and numerous volunteers. By early afternoon, Sheriff Chris Nanos decided the extreme heat was a danger to the searchers, so he ordered them back until the temps back off at the end of the day. With the exception of the woman who died at about 3 p.m. walking on the loop near I-10, the hikers took the common advice of setting out early in the morning. They still got in deadly trouble. Now the sheriff is urging people to stay inside no matter what time it is. Get your exercise in your living room. Go to a gym. Do any number of things, but don't get outside. Dr. Michelle Manos of the Pima County Health Department says over the weekend at least two victims came to hospitals by ambulance and many more brought themselves in. There come, comes a point um, when the weather is beyond all preparation, really, right? We get to a point where the human body is, is really not made to uh, suffer through these levels of very, very low humidity, these very, very high temperatures and this beating sun that we're all feeling right now. The missing man has been in those conditions for about a day and a half. We asked the head of Sheriff Search and Rescue what chance the man may have. Human beings have been known to amaze people with acts of strength and endurance, so I can't really say because I don't know the gentleman we're looking for. Um, we like to keep our hopes up and we will work this call as hard as we can for as long as we're able to. Now, it's easy to assume nearly all hikers who get in trouble are out of town or unfamiliar with conditions here. Two of the three hikers who died yesterday were visitors, but the sheriff and the health department say more than 80% of heat illnesses happen to locals.